as you know, there's a lot of reports recently from the Hagman report, and I want to follow. I want to start with the Hagman report and how they're um, exposing corruption and abuse. Let me just say this: in the women's shelters in some of these programs, when women or men or even children have been assaulted, the safest place is supposed to be at the women's shelter. And let me say this: this is not just in states like Pennsylvania, but in North Carolina, Ohio. There have been several incidents where women and children have been assaulted in the shelters. Recently, in 2016, a five-year-old little girl was raped by a 10-year-old little boy, so there are juvenile offenders involved in cases like this. I have to expose it, number one, because of the crime itself and what I witness as a, not only somebody standing there, but also the people accusing people of assault. Because we have recently seen this ongoing trend where abuse and assault has gone on in women's shelters or programs, which is a primary target for victims, victims are obvi obviously primarily targeted, whether it be at hotels, and you could talk, we could talk all day long about how long sexual abuse has gone on, people who pretend to care about victims and have no business working with victims. And as victims advocates and as survivors and as volunteers or someone out there, we have to clean up the corruption, whether it's in a shelter or whether it's in a foster care or whether it's um, in a home or 